Hi guys, this is a bonus video to help you understand how to use the multiplication property of equality. If you're looking at homework 2.4 and you're struggling with number four or number seven, um, this particular video can help you with that. So um, we're gonna look at this problem here. We're gonna do four plus H divided by two equals 50. So this is kind of a weird, what we would call a weird equation. Um, if you want, you can rewrite this equation like this. This is the same thing as four plus one half, not 50, I'm so sorry. One half H equals 50. Because when we divide by two, it's the same as taking half of something. So you can rewrite it like this if you prefer, if you are okay with working with fractions. If you don't really wanna work with fractions, I would kind of follow along with how I show you here. Um, I'm not gonna work the fraction form, um, but if you are okay with working with fractions and are comfortable, you can set up the equation like this. Um, so what we're gonna do is follow our three-step process, combine any like terms, get rid of our constants, get rid of our coefficient. So in this particular problem, we have two constants, um, so our two constants and this problem, um, obviously four is a constant, it's a number on its own, but two is also a constant as well. If we write it like this form, um, one half is actually our coefficient, but in this problem, it's actually kind of like a constant. It's a number on its own. It's not necessarily attached to the variable. We're just dividing it by two. So we're gonna follow our three-step process. We have no like terms to combine. So step one is done. Now to get rid of our constants, um, the first thing we're gonna do is let's get rid of this four, okay? Because if we're trying to isolate the variable, um, H is being divided by two. So if we get rid of this four, we're then gonna isolate it even farther to just H divided by two. So we're gonna get rid of the variable. I'm sorry, not the variable. We're gonna get rid of four by subtracting it. We're gonna do the opposite of what's being done. It's a positive four, so we're gonna subtract it away. So if we subtract four, from both sides of the equation, we're using that subtraction property of equality. Um, we're gonna get H over two is equal to 50 minus four is 46. Okay, so now we're left with this equation and we're trying to figure out what divided by two equals 46. So the way that we can figure this out is we can multiply 46 times two to figure out when we divide it by two, like how does it get back to being 46? So if I model it over here, I have to do it over here and I'm gonna write it like a fraction. If I multiply times two, that's the same as multiplying two over one. So just to kind of show you guys how this works, this is gonna turn into two H over one times two is two and two H divided by two is just H. Two divided by two is just one. So this is kind of how we're modeling or why we can multiply both sides of the equation by the same thing. Um, so if we multiply by two, we're left with H is equal to 46 times two, which is, I don't know that one off the top of my head. I think it's 98. Is that right? Six times two is 12, carry one, four times two is, oh, it's 92. Okay. So H is equal to 92. So this is an example of how we can use the multiplication property of equality. That's what this was that we just modeled to solve a problem. So um, this can help you with, uh, <clears throat> with question four. Um, question seven, it groups something. So it groups a problem. So it looks kind of like this. It'll say like five plus n divided by 10 equals, let's say 30. Okay. So if it's an example like this, which number seven is kind of like this, um, you're actually going to start off using the multiplication property of equality. There's no constants kind of outside of this. It's all kind of within this one fraction. So you're going to start off by multiplying times 10. So you're going to start off using that multiplication property of equality. So that way you're left with just this like numerator. So five plus N because these when we multiply by 10 and divide by 10, they cancel out. So five plus N is equivalent to 30 times 10, which is 300. And then to figure out what N is, we can now just use our subtraction property of equality. because This is a positive five. So if I subtract five, I'm left with N equals 295. 
which makes sense if we go back and plug it in. Five plus 295 is 300. 300 divided by 10 is 30. So if it is being divided by the entire group of something, you'll start off your problem using the multiplication property of equality. If it is just one term that's being divided by something, you will um, get rid of the other constants first by using addition, subtraction, whatever kind of um, operation you need. And then you'll use the multiplication property of equality to solve. So this should be able to help you with number four and number seven on your 2.4 homework.